Hi all, it's Kylie from Kylie's Card Craft. Thanks for joining me again today. Bags, paper bags. What do we do with them? Oh, so many things you can do with them. I've got a quick and an easy Happy Mail um, journal card holder, Happy Mail holder. Just nice, fun things to make. I love these. They're quick and they're easy. They come up a treat. They're a great way to use up some of your scraps that you've got floating around from digi kits or whatever else that's left floating. Um, and to use these. Now, mine are very, very sturdy. I got mine from a local packaging place with squillions. I'm not going to use this, this amount. But they are very um, thick. Probably not as thick as some, but a lot thicker than others. And that's my problem. So I tend not to use them a great deal in my journals. You can see how thick they are. But for this sort of thing, for a sturdy envelope type thing for Happy Mail, they're brilliant. So it is literally just undone. And then we've got our standard concertina. They are so easy to make from these. So I thought we'd have a shot at making them today. Yes, I know it's not quite too late to do anything for Christmas. Might be too late to send anything for Christmas. But it's not quite too late to do it. So they're just our standard, you know, gusseted bags. As you can see from this. So all I'm going to do is bend this back both ways just so that I've already got a nice little fold there going both ways. So you can see how he's going each way. Okay. What we want to do is just chop off one side so that we've still got a flap side. Make sense? Make sense? It's going to fold down again. But we're just going to chop this guy off just here. Now, you can use a knife. You can use your trimmer. The other, the other thing with my bags, they're not quite straight. See this? So, look, I could go through them all and try and find straight, straight ones. That's probably a better side. So, if I want that in here, I want that one down there. This is the one I want to chop off. I'm going to chop that one off so that that's my inside, I'm thinking. Right. It'll make sense in a moment, I promise. So you can see where this is in here. We don't want to chop this fold. So we're going to chop just the other side of this fold line. We can trim it down further when required later on, but we just want to go just above it. So you can see me making marks in that with my fingernail. You could use your score tool if you want to, but I've already got this tool, so I might as well use this one. So I can see exactly where that fold is now. What I'm going to do is with my scissors, so you can see I'm just chopping off this end, okay? And I'm just going to go to the right-hand side of that fold mark. It takes a lot to get through, especially with these ones, because they are so thick. So that I've got him like that, okay? So there's still a little bit more I need to take out of this one, but I can, and you can see that it won't sit flat because I've gone a little bit further over where I need to, but I'd rather do that and go further in than chop it all out in the first place and have to start again. Uh, yes, and I use these too, so that'll just sit to the side. So what I need to do now is tidy this up so that I am back onto that fold line. So you can see here, I'm quite a bit further over that fold line. So we're just gonna start working our way through. If you find it's easier, just do it one bit at a time. So twiddle your thumbs while I'm trimming back these, just to that fold line. I don't want to cut into the fold line. If I can help it. 
Okay, that one's taken back nicely. So this one will now, I'll open this one out and I'm gonna go the same way on that side. And I just find that these, oh, look, sometimes I'll draw it with my knife, but quite often when I get to this section, it is just easier with my scissors. Now we're gonna fold it back and you'll see where it curls to where you need to recut. Just pop those in the bin. Okay. So you can see it sits down a little bit flatter now, but there's still a lot there. And if I want to fold this in, which is what I want to do, I want to fold this back on itself. And I'm gonna give that a crease. Nice and sturdy, because this is heavyweight. Now you can see where it's folded. They're the little bits that have got too much on them that we need to trim back off again. So there's not a great deal there. And yes, it's fiddly. And I'm going to go to my smaller scissors for that. I'm just going to start taking it off back to those folded areas. Or those curled areas, I suppose, would be the best way to put it. A little bit on this side as well. So just in there. Just as, as much as you can. Don't freak too much with it. Oh, got so much, sorry. I've had an entire day at my desk and I've got ink and all sorts all over me. Um, and yeah, forgot to try and scrub them off before I sat back down to do this one, sorry. So between housework, I think I've been here for, oh, eight o'clock this morning. It's quarter past four now, so eight hours. <laughs> oh, I did run out and do a little bit of grocery shopping and I have done a little bit of washing and that's been about it. It's really hard in that centre bit with my, with these ones. All right, that's looking better. And that's folding so much nicer now. So it's sitting right down. That's looking heaps better. That's looking better. That's looking better. Now, what I want to do is those ones. Because I want that to fold right out. And with that stuck in there, it's not going to. So I'm just going to, again, use my scissors. So open that out. And it's far better to open it out like that. And use your scissors than to try and cut it while it's still... <laughs> and I'll just go from one pair of scissors to the other. That's fine. All right. So that this will open right out. And these ones also have a, an extra little bit in there. And I take that out because I don't want the bulk. All right. So I've got a little bit there I can chop out now. This is the longest bit that it takes with all of this. And that should start to fold beautifully. It does. Look at that. Okay. So technically, we've now made ourselves another little flap. It's still all open at the other end. What we want to do is fold it, and if it's thick like mine, it's going to take a bit to fold, and we want to fold it all the way up to the top, as into this section here that we've been trimming. So all the way up. This is where, if your bag is straight, it's a little bit easier. going to work my way down with my score tool just to put pressure down there and I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on it with these ones you can get thinner ones and if you can get thinner ones I suggest you do ah just there we go right so now we've got a little fault that's all it is truly that is all it is might have gone a little bit too high with that one. No, that's sitting right. 
So it's just a matter of decorating. Okay. So you know me. I will ink everything. I might go in a darker ink because it's quicker. And you can see where I've gone straight away. So you can see where we need to ink. I'm going to just work my way around all of these. And I thought I might do this one. I did the last one in that flower. And I had some papers left from... Um, uh, Taylor made journals, La Vie en Rose. I love this kit. I really should print out some more of it, but I had some left in the packet that I'd originally printed out, so that's why we used those ones. But I've pulled out a pile of butterfly papers. Now, there's some from kits. I don't need those, but I just want up along there. Um, some from kits. Some, and I think they might be tailor-made journals as well, maybe. Don't quote me on it. I'll have a look as we go through. Um, some are from Graphic Fairy, which is from their, I think it's from their premium site. Again, don't quote me. I want that one. And I've done that one. Right. So that's all we're inking. So it's all just got an edge around it. So I always start with the back, all my flat bits first. So if I can fold him back out like that, it makes it a little bit easier. And as I said, pulled out some just butterfly kits. Now they, yeah, these sorts of ones work really well on the back. So we'll use one of those. And it's just a matter of trimming this one down. If I trim that to that bit first, I'm just going to use my trimmer. And we'll get rid of that bit. Like so. Maybe we'll even make it straight. How's that? That works a bit better. Going down to this one. None of that's straight. Right. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want my butterflies so that I've got my butterflies. I'm going to miss this little bit, but I can always attach that later on. If in doubt, hold it up to your light. So I've got a light over here. Hold it up to the light. You can see exactly where this would sit on that. I don't know if you can see that through there, but then I can sit it there I can see where it sits so if I'm at the bottom, top of that wing I'm then at the top of that wing look at that so I will fit both of those in now I want a little bit of a border so I'm going to lose a little bit just bear with me I'll chop that bit off so that I can straighten this up properly down there like that because I was way out of whack with that. That's better. Right. So I need to go to the top of my wing and a little bit over. So you can see that's where my blade will go now. I'm just going to take it a little bit off. And I've lost just a little bit of that wing. Going back to this one, I want the same with my blue wing. So I'm just on the edge, if you can see that. Move that right up so I can see. I'm just on the edge of where that's going to cut. And I'm just going to take it in just a little bit further. Like so. So now we can see if I've got that sitting there. And I've got a border top and bottom, which I'm happy with. So take a little bit off this one. Just take it little bit by little bit and see how you go. You can always take more off. You're not gonna be able to put it back on. So I like that sort of border going around. This needs evening up because this is technically closer anyway. It's just got a little bit of white showing. So I'll just even that piece up like that. And then I can take a little bit more off this side, just for my border. And I've literally just taking 
bits. So let's have a look at that. Yep, happy with that. Happy with that. Now, they're my writing bits, and I'm just going to keep them aside because I might adhere those onto it later. Move all the scrap. Move all the scrap. My husband just came home a minute ago with a hot chocolate for me, so I'm drinking that while I'm doing this because, as I said, I've sat at the desk all day. Right. Now I need something to glue with and glue stick. No, I don't. Just want to ink around that, but I've gone back to my brush corduroy for this one. Just a little bit. Just to define my edges again. And it, look, it's up to you. If you don't ink, you don't ink. You don't have to ink. There is no big written rule that says you have to ink. So just, you do you. All right. Back onto my blue glue. It's not quite as hot today, which means it's not drying quite as quickly. Thank goodness. Now, I'm up that way, aren't I? So if I start at the top, I know I've only got that small border going on. Let's have a look as we go down. I'll grab my scraper. And you can feel all the layers in there when you're pushing it out. So really push it in. So that's the back. I think that's just lovely. So I'm going to need something on the front, here and here. And then I'll show you how to put the brad in and do our closure. We can go back and pop our little words on later on. So for something along here, oh, look, see that's still a little bit curved there. What's catching in that? No, I think it was just the way I closed it. Right, so let's just pull these out again. Yes, it is. Majority of these are tailor-made journals. Um, vintage butterflies set two. So that's all those sorts of ones. But yeah, I love these big sheets in them. All right, so let's have a look and see what we can use as our front panel. I saw here, yeah, look at this. I really like that. And yes, I know it's not quite high enough, but when that is closed, I will see this butterfly in here. So I'm just gonna trim this one out. And yes, I know it's not gonna be straight because I can't do straight with my scissors. So we'll just take that bit out. I just can't do it. I'll take that out and I'll use the trimmer again. Trimmer or the knife, either or. If I take you there they are the same size like that take this one down to here oh, I don't know if you can hear that wind it's really picked up this afternoon it's quite warm but worth that wind's picked up all right down to this one so I am kind of quicker when I use the trimmer but not much. Right, let's have a look at that. Because what I'm thinking, and I can trim off down here, is that, and have, well, actually, I could have that in there. And I know they're not the same butterflies, but it still all works. So, I need, I need to trim you down I had it sitting right there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there it is. All right. So I just want to make that a bit even. And I want my border again, because I like my border in there. Look, let's just go back to the way I normally do things. <laughs> Here's Bertha. All right. So sit that on there. 
shots. Is that one on there? Am I still in shot? Yes. Alright, and back it over to this side. Down here. Sorry, concentrating. <laughs> right, so that will now fit my bottom section of that. And I like that on there. So I'm going to ink him, but I might not stick him just yet because I need to get the other one cut. And it's easier to cut off this template for the width. Again, these would be a very easy, you know, Sunday afternoon mass make. And I want that. Now, that is actually crooked. I think I want them a little bit straighter. So let's have a look. So if I put my ruler there, make that straight, I can now move this whole thing onto my grid. I haven't touched my ruler. My ruler is still straight on there. So now technically that wording is straight and I can cut this to match that. In essence, that's what we're looking at. Right. So now, yes, my wording is straight. Okay. And we're going to mark this so that it is the same size as the other one. Put them in the centre. So I'm going to take off more from this side than I am from that side. So I'm going to cut him there and this one there. And I know my top line is straight. So down there, waste not, what not. Let's use this piece. All right. And this one's only got a little bit on this side, but it has more down the bottom. So just to make him nice and even. And then we cross our fingers and our toes and close our eyes and make a wish that it's all come out the same size. Look at that. Yes. Yes, baby. Yes. Uh, so this one's going to go in here like so. And I want this one in there. Like that. And I like that. Which means, technically, I can still trim that down a little bit, can't I? So if I put that... Make a pencil mark there. I'm going to cut that just lower than that. So I don't have so much bulk going on underneath it. There'll be a little bit, um, which gives me a little bit of wiggle room as well. And so there's my mark, which is about there. So I'm going to take this down to about here, which gives me, I don't know, uh, two sixteenths, a sixteenth. I don't think it's an eighth of an inch. There's my mark, and I've taken it down to that. And I've still got that lovely writing on there, which then allows me a little bit of wiggle room in case I want to drop it or I've raised this one a little bit higher. And I can pop the two on separately then. So we'll do this one first. Move those over. Because he's going to go up here. Make sure that I've got no glue sitting on there already. Move that one. I find it's easier if I do this, so I'm not. So you guys can see exactly where I'm going. Same amount of border on the side and on the top, hopefully. 
Just need to get rid of that excess glue. Don't want to worry about it too much because the other one is going to cover it. I just don't want it all over my tools, my fingers. Right, so this one will then go in there like that. Yes. How's that? It is still a little bit. And that should cover that. Yes, it does. So if this one's here, this one's there. See how I've got that? I like that. I like that a lot. Right, we'll glue this one in. And I'm just going to fold this back so I've got no gluey spots. I'll glue that one up. Right, set that out of the way. Sitting that about there, to about down there, up a little bit. It is a little bit out. It is a little bit out. Oh. I always put labels or something on it there. It's a good idea in theory. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. All right, another very quick sip of my hot chocolate. All right, so I like that so far. I could see some glitter or some glossy accents or something on that. We need something to go across here. And I haven't thought that far advanced. Let's have a look. They all need to. These guys are not wide enough, are they? You are, but I don't have a sideways one. Here we go. Let's have a look in here. I could use another one of these full sheets and go across. So this is four centimetres, sorry. About one and a half inches, a bit under one and a half inches is what we want, including our border. So I reckon yeah, I'm going to lose too much of that one and it's going to lose that one. So we need to look at something else. I had more of those in there, didn't we? Let's have a look. Nope, nope, nope. They're the graphic fairy ones. Um, hmm. Alright, so as that's our front cover, let's put something else on there and we'll cut out some butterflies. But we'll cheat. We'll go to the butterflies. Butterflies and butterflies. Alright, let's cheat. Oh, running short on small butterflies. Oh, I do have, oh, these are the um, 49 and Market little wooden ones. So, what else do I have in here? I'd like something a little bit bright without going too bright. Does that make sense? He would work. He's the wrong colours. He's a good size for it, but he's not my right colours. They're all going to be browns, aren't they? Gosh, I need to recut out butterflies. I had a real butterfly thing lately. Here we go, here we go. What's this? Look, 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 look. I'm going to have, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm going to have a brad in the middle. So I don't want one of these guys sitting over that. Maybe, maybe we put some greenery with the butterflies on it. How's that? 
So really we just need a cream to match in with that. And do I have a cream up here in all my coffee dyed scraps? That's actually a piece of, um, of pianola roll. What else have I got up there that's a lighter colour? You're a bit darker, I think. Very dark. Um, sorry, I'm, I know I'm reaching over you, but I've got... See, that's the colour I want. I've got all my coffee dyed scraps sitting just up here. But, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> that's music sheet. But that was sitting in my scraps basket just over here. That would nearly work, wouldn't it? That's a fairly good colouring. So, we might just do that. I'm thinking. Move you guys. And I'm thinking I might just cut those ones out. Very quickly. I'll set that one there. Chop that off. I don't know whether I'm even still in shot this far over. I've had such a mess on this desk today. Um, I've been scrapbooking this morning and finishing all that off for the last class that I run at the local craft shop, but it's my last one. So I've something had to give. That's given. So I've been fixing that one up this morning and then I've had other things on the go as well. That'll work. All I need to do is get this one on and then we can decorate it and put our bread in. So, give it a little bit of oomph. Now it's a little bit of music, music, music note. So, I'm wanting, just going to move that, 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 and that, and that, and that, and that. And I'm going to move all these butterflies out of the way because... What I want to do is I'm thinking I want to stamp on that. Let's have a look. What are we being? 32 minutes. Oh, we're doing well. We're doing well. So let's have a think. What We were going to put some greenery on it, weren't we? So we could stamp some greenery. Um... No, 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 no. I need an archival or a permanent because this paper's got just a slight shine to it. Otherwise, oh, I do have, I do have, I do have. I do have. Hold that thought. Um, I thought I had... A stencil here. Nope. 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 We'll just stamp. Ah, let's find our leaves. Oh. And that was everything falling over that I chucked on the bottom when I had to actually do this. So, I want something that's going to wander. Maybe like that. That little thing would work a treat, actually. That one. Can you see these? Which ones are we looking at? That one's got a die with that. No, I'm liking that little one I'm thinking. So let's just have a look at that. which will just give it a little bit of oomph. So if I stamp it in like that, and down here, and up there like that, and just give that, that stamped image going along, we'll see how well it dries, because that's my main concern. 
Right. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. Do we go green? Or do we just go a light brown? So if I go tree branch, let's have a look. Yeah, it just gives something else. Like so. I'm liking that. Yep, one more. And they're like that. Just something for our butterflies to sit upon. If we don't have the right papers, we make the right papers. It's as easy as that. Alright, uh, that one there, that one there. Let's have a look. That's drying beautifully. So we'll stick this one on. And I've just looked outside and realised it's raining. What did I say before? I've got all the washing out. Of course I've got the washing out. <sighs> and there's nobody else now home. Um, because... As I said, my husband came home, bought me hot chocolate, and then went, oh, you're filming. You're about to film. I'll get out of the house. <laughs> Too worried I'm going to make a noise. So there's now nobody else home. You go and grab said washing. Awesome. I like that. And it really, apart from my head mucking around so much, it didn't take that long. And these can go on, but what we're going to do now is pop our bread on. So, I use prick mat, which is just my soft mat for when I'm doing sewing signatures, and I use my awl. What I want to do is find my halfway point, okay, because I'm going to actually just put it through there. I don't want to go through the whole thing, I just want to go through this centre bit, which is why I like these to open right out okay so i could put it in there if you want there how's that and then you can actually see what i'm doing so my bags are about five inches wide give or take a bit so if i even that up we're looking at about that two and a half inch mark so it's around about there which is where my center point is okay so I'm just going to pop my all in there and make a hole so that it's just through there. Hopefully not through there. I've gone all the way through and into that. Now, Brad, let's use something nice. Oh, look, I've done them. Um, that one's got a gem. Um, that one's just one of those, I don't know steel type looking one to match in with all that um so these are my larger ones or you know most used ones we've got our butterflies we could go a pearl oh actually we have a black pearl i'm thinking a black pearl would look very nice let's use that let's put you back over there so when we pop this in, now, see how a lot of these sorts of ones, they're right out here. What I like to do is get my pliers when I'm that I use for my beads and all the rest and just get this guy and crimp, crimp him so that he's down, flat and into that. Does that, can you see what I've done there? just so that he's nice and flat in here and doesn't want to rip your paper. So this one's gonna go in here now. I'm undoing that back piece and I'm having him so that he's in. We don't want him too tight because we want to be able to pop our string around. So I'm just going to undo this. Give him a push. 
Again, give it a little bit. I'll sit him down. Just give him a little bit of a push so that I've still got... Can you see how I've still got a little bit of room under there? But he's in there nice and tight now. Means that now all of this can be adhered down. And then we can pop on this one. So we're almost done. So actually I'm going to go one of these because they're smaller. And I can just sit all in here. Okay. Go around my bread. I don't want to go over the bread because I don't want that bread to rip into my glue stick. I want that on. And then I'm going to use my normal liquid glue. And I'm just going to start gluing all this into place. So that one, that one, these ones, all their little gussets on the side. Close as you can to the edge, but you know, don't stress too much about it. Like so. And I'll always put a little bead just down in here as well. Okay. Just like so. Now I can close all this up and pick it back up. Because we've used a big bread, we're going to pick it back up. If we push down on it with the bread there, it'll just tear through your paper, especially once you've got wet glue on there. All right, we're going round, making sure all that's done. Now we can cover this, which will cover the inside piece of that bread. You'll never even know how that bread's been put in there. Does that make sense? Get rid of that. Put the lid back on that. Close that one for a second because it's been sitting out for ages. Right. So this is our inside piece. I've got glue just there. And that needs something on it as well. How are we going for time? I can't see. 42 minutes. Pull your finger out, Kylie. Um, right. I want some wording or I want some butterflies or I want something. It's going to be the same problem as we had before. So... Let me think, let me think, let me think. Didn't have anything else in that, did I? Oh, what's that one? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm wondering, I've got a background. I've got a background. Because when in doubt, we always stamp. Not those backgrounds. Oh, actually, I know the one I have got. It's got butterflies and postage on it. So if I stamp that one, and that'll be in my script or my postage one. So let's have a look. Nope, maybe it's in butterflies. <laughs> Getting too many. Sure I've got one. Uh, butterflies, birds. I know the one that I want. Didn't have postage. It's got that. <laughs> I knew I had something with butterflies on it. Should have just gone to the butterfly book in the first place, shouldn't I? Right. And that stamped will fit on there beautifully, won't it? So, if we use another piece of scrap... Another piece of scrap. Let's have a look. I know what will be the right colouring. Book page. I keep these. And these are the insides of your books. When you gut a book or whatever else. And they have awful, awful. awful. No, they don't have awful. They're not awful at all. They have awesome colouring. And... They will match so many things. 
So let's have a look. That one's a bit better than that one, isn't it? Let's use that one. And that one looks about the right size, actually. We're going to need to go. Yeah. And I'm actually going to leave that on there. I like that. Right. So I'm going to stamp right down the bottom on this. Sitting that there. Now, the stamp in question I have just run away with because it got stuck to that envelope. There it is. Oh, might not stick to anything else. See how dirty that is? That needs a wash with um, warm water and a little bit of dishwashing liquid is what that needs. Just going to pop that all back in my drawer so I don't hook myself. And I need a block. Not that one because that's too little. I need a bigger block. Which I had out before. Didn't I? All right, so we'll get a big, big, big block. Oh, in all honesty, I reckon it'll fit in that. Let's just put it in the misty and be done with it. So in which case I won't need that. So it's going to need to go that way. My A74 is stuck in the middle of all that. We'll see. I'm hoping it comes out. What about in the twilight? Sorry, it's an ink color. I'm just thinking it's that deep, deep, deep blue. So it's like this. Um, okay. Let's soon find out. It's all right. I thought I was upside down. Which meant that's fine, but it would have meant that my A74 would have been upside down if I'd turned the stamp around. All right, give that a push. And I can't see any of that, but I can see the rest and I like the rest. That's nice. That is a stamp I've had, I reckon, for... Oh, years and years and years and years and years and years and years. I couldn't tell you how long I've had it, but I like that. That's actually going to look quite nice in there. So, down there to that. And... Just there. Which will give us. I like to go on my smaller one because they're easier for me to see and line up. This one will be just under the big line. Like so. And I'm debating on whether I tear that bit off or not. I can get rid of that bit. Look at that. Happy with that. All right. Into that one. And then we'll just ink around the side of that. Stick him down. Put on our, um, what is it? String. I'm doing so well today. <laughs> I should be cooking tea later on. Oh, that's five o'clock. All right. So we stick this bit on and we've just got the last little bit to go. We can pop on our string. Make sure none of that is sticky. And then we'll just go straight down with this bit and we're done. See, and you can't even see that that had a mark on the other side of that book page. There, 
make sure we're up the right way. A major catastrophe yesterday with that. All right, that's going to go down there like that. Again, I'm going to do this with it up, not pressed against the table because I've got that brad in there. Wish I'd use that on the front now. Lovely. I need to do this bit, what I like to do for this bit. So I've got that bit, that bit, that bit, and that bit. As I like to do my little thumb hole section, again, as I said before, this one is around five inches with these bags. So I'm going to about the two and a half inch mark, which is going to be around there. So... To do this with these bags, you need a fairly solid punch. I've got a big mm. EK Success, I was going to say. They do the same ones. I think this one's stamping up. Um, but they're a solid, solid punch. So it'll allow me to go all the way in. And I just want a little bit. There's my mark so that it's in the centre. Just down a little bit. I don't want to take away any of my wording. Oh, so yes, you can see that it takes a bit to get through. All right, I'll link you. And then all we're going to do, this section, we're going to find our two and a half again, which is about there. And heading back up here to about our two and a half, which is about there. And then with some double-sided tape, because glue takes a while to dry and it needs something solid with these bags. So straight over that mark, up to your top mark. Trim that bit off. And then clean your scissors. My scissors are so grotty at the moment. Right. Peel your double-sided tape back. Close this again. And now we've got that. Lots of happy mail. This one we'll grab. I haven't put my butterflies on, but that's okay. You get the gist. We're running short on time. So, tie a knot in this one so that he's not going to go anywhere. And see, you can get him right under there because we've left it out a little bit. Trim that section off. So he's right up in there. Wind him round. There we go. Round. Round. All thumbs. Around there and trim them off. They are easy. Did I see? I kid you not. They are very easy to do, just with your bags. So your normal little gusseted bags, whatever length, you could trim these down if you don't want them that high, and make them any height that you like. So they're just something else to do with all these wonderful bags that we've got around. And um, very, very easy. So thanks for sticking with me today. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love you to subscribe. For all of you that have already subscribed, thank you so much for being on this journey again with me this year. Um, we're looking forward to 2023. Should have one or two more before the end of this year. So hopefully we'll catch up again before the end of the year. If you've liked this one, please give me a like. Thanks, guys. Bye.